Now let's move on to thermionic emission. See, as the name suggests, and I've already explained you, this is the phenomena of emission of electrons from the metal surface by imparting, see the hot filament? So by imparting heat energy, right? So this hot filament is depicting that the electrons are ejecting out of it due to the heat energy. Now this phenomena was first observed by scientist, you know the name Edison, but the phenomena was left unexplained. Why? It was left unexplained till the discovery of electrons by J.J. Thomson. So before that, even if Edison found out that the electrons are getting liberated from the metal surface when it is getting heated up, but he didn't know at that time that electrons, the particles which are coming out of the thing is called electrons, right? Though he was the one who invented the bulb by electricity, so he knew that something flows. It was flow of energy. There is a long story about it, but we'll, um, we are just sticking to our syllabus right for now. See, so this was the experiment which was performed by Edison. What the only special thing I was uh, I was about to tell you or ask you like what exactly do you know do you think that the special thing about this experiment should be that it is very famous till date. See, this is the broader part of the circuit, but there is no physical connection. I mean, there is no connecting wires at all between this point to this point. Anode is usually termed for uh, for. A uh, polarity which is given positive charge, cathode for uh, negative charge, see? So this was anode terminal, this was cathode terminal. And for between anode to cathode, that is this tungsten filament to this anode part, there is no physical connection. But still, there was flow of electrons from this part to this point, which was proven and shown on this milliammeter. So the ammeter is a device which shows us how much current is flowing in a wire. So there was this ammeter which shows the deflection that means the current has flown. This phenomena clearly explains yes photo emission takes place for not just photo emission this is thermionic emission. Thermionic emission takes place that means electrons do get liberated from metal surface when they are heated up to certain temperature provided other circumstances that means a huge potential difference and uh, the small potential difference between the this filament wire. So these were few uh, minor changes which was done in the experiment now. So let's recap what we have done or learned in thermionic emission. See, uh, we are talking about the experiment now. If the tungsten filament is heated up to 2000 degrees Celsius, some of the electrons have sufficient kinetic energy to escape from the surface of the wire. This effect is called thermionic emission. So this goes with the definition which we started with. That is the phenomena of emission of electrons from the metal surface when electric energy, right? No, heat energy is provided to the metal. It is quite easy to imagine this. Suppose if you want to still understand like how it is being done, imagine that this whole metal take this surface of metal as water and electrons as vapors. So if I heat it, heat, it, heat this thing from the bottom, it will evaporate. So basically electrons are evaporating out of it. This is how you can simply understand it. Now, this I have, this is not your part of the syllabus. I still want you to know why this experiment was so important and how many discoveries this particular experiment has led us to. See, the discovery of thermionic emission and of cathode rays, we are going to study cathode ray tube, led to the discovery of electrons. And who discovered electrons? J.J. Thomson. Applications are cathode ray tube, radio and television. These days, you will be hearing about uh, television as in LEDs, LCDs, these kind of stuff, <coughs> or maybe OLED. But back in the days from where these, uh, these television came into picture, they started their journey from, they used to have big broader picture tube, like it was very huge and big and curved shape. These picture tubes were actually basically electrons emitted tube. So picture tube are nothing but some uh, different def or different version of cathode ray tube only. So we are again talking about electron emission. And if you can by any chance see that old television in your grandparents house or anywhere, you just do one thing, switch it on, switch it on for a while and shut off the power supply. This has to be done only in the dark room, okay? Now when you shut off the power supply, you will still be seeing the screen of the television glowing. 
दैट इज बिकॉज दो टेलीविजन यूज टू वर्क वेन इलेक्ट्रॉन गन्स बेसिकली वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इलेक्ट्रॉन एमिशन सो इलेक्ट्रॉन गन्स यूज टू एमिट और बॉम्बार्ड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ऑन द सर्फेस आई विल बी कमिंग टू दैट पॉइंट फ्लोरोस एंड स्क्रीन एंड दो स्क्रीन वर शोइंग द पिक्चर्स नाउ वेन वी शट ऑफ द पावर द टंगस्टन फिलामेंट इन साइड दैट इलेक्ट्रॉन गन इज स्टिल हॉट दैट मीन्स इट इज स्टिल केपेबल ऑफ एमिटिंग दोज इलेक्ट्रॉन्स फॉर अ वाइल इवन दो फॉर अ स्मॉलर वाइल बट फॉर अ वाइल सो दीज इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर स्टिल कमिंग आउट ऑफ द पिक्चर ट्यूब एंड स्टिल प्रोड्यूसिंग दैट फ्लोरोसेंस इफेक्ट एंड दैट इज वाई यू वुड स्टिल बी सींग द ग्लोइंग इफेक्ट ऑन द टेलीविजन स्क्रीन सो दिस इज वॉट यू कैन डू इफ यू कैन put get your hands on those old television boxes but very important point is these days if you are hearing about televisions like oled led these sort of things these are also devised on the basis of those experiments because these experiments only led us to the discovery of a diode basically diode is something diode is the master key of everything because of diodes only the construction of computer laptop smartphones everything is possible because of diodes only so these experiments led us to the invention of diode and that is this that was the time when first diode was got patented who so did that right so they are all interlinked now i'll come, that is why i'm explaining you why this topic was so important and it has very huge historical uh, uh, gravity associated with it now photoelectric emission and how einstein developed the quantum energy ex, uh, this and uh, concept energy so okay i will not tell you what was this quantum energy concept but i'll tell you photoelectric emission i've already explained you the photoelectric emission right and that was the einstein theory only so due to all this effect photocell was done so this application was the discovery or the production of photocell then x rays were discovered and the what would be the use of x ray it was used in medical uses we know how x rays are used to diagnose any fracture or rupture in the bones because x rays can easily pass through muscle tissues but they cannot pass through tough bone tissues right then spectral explained in terms of electron transition between discrete energy level this was also on the same thing because we were talking about electron emission and then electrons were getting emitted from various different levels not just the outermost level sometimes even from the inner level so the various electrons were showing various forms of energy variations and that led us to the development of many more things especially diagnostic research tool and laser applications now i'll tell you some historical chart how it came first of all thomas edison he discovers flow of charged particles from incandescent light bulb filaments and named them thermions so that time edison wasn't aware of the fact that this will be called uh, electrons and electrons are the negatively charged particles so nothing of that sort was actually in uh, uh, discovered till that point so thomas edison in back in 1880s after that sir j j thomson in 1890 so basically 10 years after he already has his proof that something is coming out but he is not sure what so he named it thermions so 10 years after that experiment j j thomson sir he he discovered electron and now most of the things were clear so this thing followed after that in 1900 see again 10 years after sir fleming he built thermionic vacuum tube which which we were just discussing right now okay and the, he patented the first diode this is what i was talking to you about in a while that the first diode was got patented in back in the days and you know what the computers during that days because the whole application and working of computers is based on the working of diodes and higher grades or higher varieties of diodes so back in the days diodes were huge like they were big in size so this computer was also obviously they were big in size nowadays we have the smartphones of you know how iphone small is but is how effective it is but the that back in the days one computer used to occupy this whole room not even this room it was bigger than this room and it produced huge hell amount of heat so that is why things got we got advanced right then later on the advancement was sir richardson he developed thermionic emission model receives 1928 nobel prize for his work on the thermionic phenomena and especially for the law named after him so these are few distinguished history of thermionics which you should definitely know now this is hot cathode ray tube which we have to discuss